Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and President Joe Biden's news just keeps getting worse as 2024 approaches, and the bottom may have just dropped out. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So on Thursday, there was a lot of bad news for, for President Biden. Um, it started when he had obvious trouble in a wrestling match with a t-shirt. But then he was told that Senator Joe Manchin is retiring and the map is getting even worse for Democrats. And even CNN, even CNN is saying heading into 2024, looking at Biden's poll numbers, looking at the Democrat Senate's poll numbers, they'd rather be Republicans right now. Let's take a look. So what about Donald Trump's ballot impact? We'll have more on that later. But first, the Democrats. How does Joe Manchin affect how they can hold on to the Senate? CNN's Harry Enten is here with me over at the Magic Wall. So, Harry, what is the impact here of Joe Manchin deciding not to run again in a state that, frankly, I don't know that any Democrat can win, <laughs> but what impact will it have on control of the Senate in 2024, potentially? Yeah, Abby, look, Democrats basically have no margin for error. Here's the Senate math heading into 2024. Democrats can't, Democrats can't lose more than one seat. Look. 51, Dem 51 Democrats in the Senate, or at least caucus with the Democrats. You got 49 senators who caucus with the Republicans. And let's take a look at how many Democrats are vulnerable this time around. Look at this. There are seven Democratic Senate seats up in 2024 in states Trump won at least once. You know, you mentioned West Virginia earlier, but there's Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, Montana, Arizona. So we have a slew of these Democratic seats in these states that Trump won at least once one time, compare that to the Republican side. You know how many GOP seats are up in 2024 that Trump lost at least once? Zero, a grand total of zero. So Democrats have far more vulnerable ground than Republicans do. Pretty much all the Republican seats are in safe Republican areas. And here's the other thing to keep in mind, why that's so important. Because polarization has become such a thing in our politics. Same party won the Senate and presidential race in the state, in 2016, for the first time ever, it was all of them. It was 34 out of 34. In 2020, it was 34 out of 35. Only Susan Collins in Maine was the exception. So the fact is, going into 2024, I'd much rather be a Republican running for Senate than a Democrat, or at least put my money on them gaining the majority in Democrats at this point, at least losing it. And Joe Manchin doesn't make it any easier, Abby. It's a tough map in 2024, but then again, it was a tough map in 2022, and Democrats did narrowly expand their majority. So we'll see how that goes. Harry you know, when you contrast what you see with Biden wrestling t-shirts and not being able to form coherent sentences, and you contrast that with Donald Trump, who looks like a rock star every time he comes out there with full of energy and vigor and it, it, yeah, they may be close in age, but they're not close in age mentally or physically, it, it doesn't appear to me. And that's a big issue for Biden. And I think a big issue for the Democrats heading into 2024. I think Biden is drag on the ticket. And I think you're going to see a red wave. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comments. Also, again, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.